Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a rainbow and pokeball charm. And this is simple and easy, so yeah. You're going to start with your arrows running away from you. And you're going to take a uh, double bands that are um red and you're going to put them from here to here. So you're using double bands for this. Then you're going to go one up like that. And then do the same thing again. So you're going from here to here and then going two times up. Now you're going to use black. So you're going to go one times up on there, just one. And then you're going to do the same thing with black. You're going to go, I mean white. You're going to take two whites. Put it up there. And then take two more whites. Put it up here. And then you're going to and then after that, you're going to um, do two more bands and move it into here. Then you're going to go to the beginning of the room again. And then you're going to take two reds and then put it from here to here. Take two more reds from here to here. And then after that you're going to take um two blacks and you're going to put it from here to here. Make sure you're using two blacks there. Sorry there. This bean is, is stuck. Okay. And then you're going to use white now. So, there you go. Two up like that, and hold on, let me grab some more whites here. And then two more. And then take your fine. Then take two more and go from here to here. And you're going to go to the beginning of the room again, and you're going to do the same thing as you did um on the left side. Now you're going to do it on the right side. So I'm taking more reds here, and you're going to put it from here to here, and two more reds here to here. Two more reds. Here to here. Now take your one black. Two blacks, I mean. And put it from one there. And now I'm going to use white. Okay, you want white bands. I'm going to go up two bands, again, two bands, and then you're going to move it into the center peg, which is right here, and I'm pushing these down there. Now you're going to go to the beginning again, and you're going to use single bands this time. And these three pegs up here in the beginning, these ones, the ones in the beginning, you're not going to use them, so you're just going to take um, a red band, and you're going to place a triangle 
Since we're not using these three pegs, we're just going to place the single triangle from um, upside down triangles on these three pegs. And then you're going to do it with black and now white. And this one. And now you're going to take um, a single white band. And put it from here to here. This is a single white band. Then you're going to take another um, black band. This is a single black band. You're going to twist it into a figure eight. And then loop it back upon itself. So figure eight. And then take this side and put it on the other side. Like this. So it's a double loop. And you're going to put it on that last peg that you put the single white band on. So, right there. Now it's time for looping. Your crochet hook or your rainbow loom hook now. You're going to take, um, you're going to go into this one, pull that cat band back with the hook and grab the white band. Actually, sorry, I'm mistaken. Don't do that. You're actually going to take off the cat band and um, get the white band off. You're actually going to take your cat band again, twist into a figure eight, put it back up on itself, and put it on this peg right here. Sorry, I was mistaken there. And now you're going to pull back this band. Make sure these are in order so you know where they are. And try get the two white bands and pull them to the side. So you're just going to take the two. If you only pull one, that's okay. Just go back and grab uh, the other one. But make sure you pull two of them before leaving the next one. And you're going to pull it to the left there. Push the bands down so you have some more space. And you're going to go in all of these bands and grab the bottom two whites. Grab the bottom two whites and you're going to pull them up. And you're just going to continue this, so hold on, and you're going to continue it. So I'm looping them right now. Until you get to the second to last pin, which is up here, to get to the second to last pin, you're going to go in this one and just grab those two bands and pull them to the center pin and push the bands down. You're going to go back to that cat band in the beginning. You're going to pull back that cat band and just grab those um, two white bands and pull them up. Now in this row you don't have to pull back the triangles because um the triangles are not connected to these ones. Well they are, but you the the triangles are not, you know, here. So you're just gonna loop this double chain all the way up. Thank you.
So, you looked it all the way up, go back to the beginning, and do the same thing like you did on the left side. And again, do the same thing, pulling back this band, grabbing this band, pulling it up, and remember you're pulling back the triangles. They're going to continue that. Remember you're grabbing two bands. And you're going to stop at the second to last pin again and just pull it to the middle. Now the ending is pretty hard because look at all these bands. So all these bands on this last peg, you're going to put your hook through all of them. Make sure you put it through all of them, otherwise this will not work. I'm going to take a red band, I mean a black band, and you're going to take it and you're going to pull it onto the hook and pull it through. Okay, so put your, um, Put through all of them. Make sure it's on all of them, okay? And take the black band on your hook. You're going to pull it on your hook, and you're going to pull it through that peg. Now, this is very hard. And then, after you pull it through, you're going to put the other side back on, and put this on the thickest part of your hook. Now, you're going to use your fingernail and lift just this peg. Make sure you lift up that peg right there. And now you're going to pull the thing off the loom, the pokeball off the loom. So hold on, I'm going to put this on the thickest part. Put it on the thickest part of your hook, and then pull it off. Careful. Use your fingers to help pull it off. And there you go. And now, um, for this test, we're gonna make a slip knot. So you're gonna take, um, one side of on your hook, you're going to pull it like that, and you're going to put the other side out of the hook, still with this on your hook, and you're going to pull it to create a slip knot. Make sure you pull that one tight. Oh yeah, here's a little snap. Bye guys.